<laughs> Find the blaze. Find the blaze. And when you do, when you find the blaze, get my mammoth straight on there. I got goo on. There's glue on my on my lens. That's why we got these glare, but they're kind of neat, you know. It's the Monday Willy Mammoth, yeah, with all your answers that nobody watches. Hey, Illinois Ghost com confirmed that he doesn't watch Bill Gorman, huh? No wonder he hasn't got a clue. <laughs> he doesn't watch. He doesn't watch. That's why he ain't got a clue. Now, Joe Monday, he's got a clue. There's something to do with symbols on maps. Yes, that's one of the others. Bing, 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 bing. Bell's going off. Where's my dang bell? There. Liberty Bell, Liberty Bell. <laughs> yes, it does have symbols. There are bells. There's a Model A cow out there in the wood, in the word wood, in the D. There's a, there's a, you know why there's two omegas? Because there's two of everything. As above, so below, at the beginning of the poem, the end of the poem. You can have... The same things in the beginning of the poem. The beginning of the poem takes you to a, a blaze. The end of the poem takes you from that blaze to the treasure, which is another blaze. The super blaze, which is Moses. And, uh... <laughs> I'm not going to be inside the mask here very long. Uh, hey, Bill, looks like... The blood drain worked. No, uh -uh. I'm struggling to breathe. <laughs> um, I can have energy sitting down, but hey, you, you get up, move. No, that energy goes away really fast. What do you want, Jack? <coughs> you want out? <coughs> <coughs> He even talks to elephants. <laughs> yeah. Hang on while I let, let, let Jack out. Hey, Jason. Hey, Davia. Hey, uh, Jason and, uh, and Jesus Christ. <laughs> JC, right? Hang on. Let the dog out. Still got a hat. <laughs> Still got my hat. Yeah. yeah. Where'd I go? I go left. I only let the dog out, man. Why? Why half the room left? <laughs> the, so the thrill of the chase. It's a slippery slope. You go right down the fire escape, straight into Forest Finn's rabbit hole. <laughs> Uh, people that don't want to watch. Oh, Bill Gorman's being crazy. He's just a nut. He don't know shit. He's just a dumb fucker. Bill Gorman, don't listen to Bill Gorman. You know, don't listen to Bill Gorman is the worst advice you were ever given. Yeah. You know, sometimes I know what I'm talking about. Look at that glow right there from the from my blaze right there. Yeah. The blazing mammoth. It's only uh, 54 in here. I, I leave that heater on until it gets to 60. I went to physical therapy for my shoulders today. Uh, yeah, it's a... Uh, I gotta go once a week. I go, uh... Uh, yeah, next week after I, I, I told them do it the same day I they take my blood, they drain my blood. I go over physical therapy after that because it's just stretching. It's not, you know. And besides, hey, after they take my blood, I'll I'll still be at the doctor's. <laughs> I ain't gonna collapse. Uh, yeah, that makes it hard for me to breathe with that problem. 
So I made a couple of cartoons today, and I made a, I made one the other day. We, you, you, you know, uh, the six questions. What do I think about the six questions? I think, I think Forrest is protecting the leader. Ha! Ah! Yes, Forrest is protecting the leader. And so he give out some, uh, miss you know, it is good enough. That's all you need to know. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah. Because, uh, he's just protecting the, the person in the lead from, uh, everybody else. Well, shit, if, you know, because if you knew who the leader was, man, everybody would be on their, on their solution. Overnight, you know, it's not how, you know, most people know, uh, well, they're looking in New Mexico. They're looking in Yellowstone. Um, they're looking in the outhouse. That guy's digging a hole in New Mexico. Nobody's really looking in Colorado. Because there's nothing there but ancient ruins from Atlantis. Both uh, <laughs> protects me. Yeah, yeah, well, no, no, no. Um, my kid's a, you know, military security. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, yeah. I, I, I don't have anybody to <laughs> share my life with. No, 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 nobody will come here and fix me breakfast. Yeah, alone protect me. <laughs> I got to protect myself. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> I got some protection, been in the bathroom for about eight years. I've never had a used need for it. <laughs> yeah. Um, mm, clean that lens off a little more. There. Um, so I had the, uh, where's my other cartoon I made? Oh, I was just opening it. Open it, open it, open. Because there's one thing that, uh, is it that? <sighs> yeah. No, yeah, that's it. I'll show you this one. This one's good. Do you like this? Because, <laughs> uh, there's, there he is, right? Oh, hey, Willie. Who? Willie Mammoth! Hey, Willie! Yeah, there's a clue right there. Yeah, it's worth the cold. Yeah, oh, what are those freaking mammoths? Okay. So, Willie Mammoth. So, what came first? What came first? For the dog, that's the question. Now, Forrest is going to have to tell us how old Willie is, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, hmm. Forrest wanted to know what the name of my dog was, and that's all. I think he was disappointed, but my, the day my dog's name came, my son had named my Jack, so his name just stayed Jack, you know. I call him Jack Sparrow, maybe. <laughs> Made him a little mammothy. Really mammoth, good one, Bill. Yeah, yeah, Willie, the the dog. Uh, uh. You know, mini me, <laughs> mini me. <laughs> oh, a woolly mammoth. That dog, he needs a he needs a mask. We gotta get a elephant head for for Willie, a woolly mammoth head. <laughs> yeah, out there in the snow in the ice age, it's worth the cold. <laughs> so, there was another one I made, another cartoon I made. There it goes. Oh, that's one I'm working on. <laughs> oh, another one. All right, I'm going to get it on my screen. Uh, oh, no, where'd it go? Uh, did it, did it, did it, did it, did it. Uh, one new no, it's the other one. 
There it is. No, that's the other one. Okay. Whew, I'll find it. I'll find it. Yeah, I don't have any good information, you know. You see, I'm talking about, oh, well, they put on there, they did a show and they mentioned this and they mentioned that. Never do they say Bill Gorman had a good point. They never say Bill Gorman had a good point. All they can say is Bill Gorman had a rant. Bill Gorman was pissed off. You know, Bill Gorman's an angry guy. That's all they pick up. That's all stupid people pick up. You know? If, if, if all you can talk about is my disposition towards somebody that, that insults me, you know, then you need to be insulted. You know, come on. Bill Gorman puts out a lot of good information that, uh, you know, people don't, they just don't, there's just too many ignorant people. Um, you, I could dazzle the treasure right here in front of you. At this point, there's fake treasure, there, there's other versions of the box out there, recently made and uh, antiques and stuff, you know? Somebody could acquire that other, one of those other boxes and, and soon there will be videos being made left and right of, you know, the treasure. So the only way to identify it would be the cracks in the beads and the bracelet and things like that. Um, oh, oh, come on, Fordham. Fordham, where'd it go? There it is. Thought I had it open. No, it wasn't. It wasn't open. There it is. <laughs> I turned this around, show you my other cartoon I made. There's the uh, slide outside the back of the school. Look at there, there's Moses standing up there. Uh, so Moses is a place. And so from where Moses is, he takes the slide down. Target all figured out, boys. Yeah. I, and there's, let's uh, zoom in. Mouse. I don't know why my computer is so slow. It's a fast computer. There's Moses. <laughs> he spins Moses. <laughs> And, uh, you see, he's at the top of the slide there. Yeah, you slide down that thing and the rust comes out on your butt. Hmm. Now, and where, where my Moses is, there are cracks coming down the hill below him. One of these cracks, and they're... He's gonna, he's gonna be at the bottom of one of them. I got that other time. I, I'm in. I'm in the ballpark, meaning I'm close enough to hit a baseball to it. You know. I'm narrowing it down, and Moses is on the back of the school where I found him sleeping at his desk, and the teacher standing over him. <coughs> okay. Woo. <coughs> Yeah. Yeah, it is rust. It's iron. He says it's iron, and that's that's why you slide down that old thing, and and, and that rust comes off in your butt. Tick tock, tick tock. Yeah, it's it's going. It's not going to last long. I I haven't told you where it is, so this assembles it, and and it, and it took. I got in that area. It took me two years to find Moses after I found the first blaze and stuff. So. It's a whole lot of, and I know something about melt melt that nobody else knows. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, whoo! You know why the ski areas are on the north side of the mountain? Yeah, 
You know why he says don't go because it, it'd be covered with snow? It's because most of the people are going out there, they'll go out there searching in the snow, two feet of snow and stuff. It's not necessarily that there's snow on the treasure. It's that there's snow on the ground in most of the places people are searching that aren't where the treasure is. And you don't want people getting stuck out there in the snow and freezing their ass to death. And and I watched, uh, well, he don't watch my show anyhow, he said. You, you know, Illinois Ghost, and he, I want to go out there in two weeks. I don't want to wait for me. I tell you what, up there nine, ten thousand feet up there where the treasure is, yeah. <laughs> Some some of those roads don't open until June. <laughs> you, you, you know, when you're coming from 600 foot elevation and you're going to 9,000 feet up, you got to realize it's a different weather system up there. I've been living in Colorado. Yeah, we know you've been. It's like watching old people. Fuck, oh, yeah, oh, melt, melt. <laughs> it would be, <laughs> it'd be like a little rare. Yeah, what's the key elevation, you guys? Um, the, the route of the poem, from the beginning of his rainbow to the end of his rainbow, that's the, the, the map. It goes from one end of the rainbow to the other. The treasure is below 10,200 feet, but the course of the poem takes you above that. You know, he said the treasure is below 10,200 feet. He didn't say that you wouldn't cross over that to get there. He never said that. He said the treasure, specifically, you got to know English and no comprehension. You got no comprehension? You can't read English? Go back to, you know, go back, back down to Mexico, man. <laughs> okay, it's too hot in here. It's too hot in there. Woo. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Where'd my elephant go? I got complimented on my, on my mammoth. When I went to physical therapy, the, the girl there checked me out, had a elephant ring. <laughs> so, but, uh, I've got, I've got, some, I've got uh, some primo, it's a primo target. One issue, uh, you know, I go with my dog. I can't go to some of the, because I ain't got nobody with me to hold the dog while I go up there, you know, um, I don't want to let the dog loose because he, he'd run back to the road and get run over or something, you know? So, because it don't get you, he, he, he's an old guy. He didn't go that far back, you know? You don't get that far from the road. Um, I've done a couple searches where I just left Jack in the car for, for an hour or two while I went up and, <laughs> you know, you don't like that. But, uh, I, I guess I got to bring an anchor for, uh, I, I bring my, uh, I got a little screw in anchor. You screw it in the ground, but there's so many rocks. You know, that's the other thing. Digging it uh, a, a lot. Uh, most everywhere here, two inches down, you find rocks, especially in the mountains, unless you're in the middle of a great big meadow, you know, but, uh, uh, 185. Inches of snow. Hey, <laughs> for wow, <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> the teeth of the Rockies. Arr, the big bad wolf. The teeth of the Rockies. The big bad wolf. <laughs> Fangs of the Rockies. <laughs> uh, nobody. Forrest Stevens, this is a quote from Forrest. Nobody knows the dangers that lurk in the mountains more than those who live in Colorado. Forrest seems 
to like 200 to it. <laughs> as close as you can you can't get within 200 feet of Moses that's about as close as you can get to the blaze <laughs> and and 200 feet uh, yeah there's other things about the 200 feet you know because there's the is it really out there or is the old artifact the ancient artifacts a, a some sort of proxy find, find the ancient artifacts and you won the title um but uh whew. yeah when you think about it before it, you know the little poodle willie how long has willie been around <laughs> he doesn't look like an old poodle <laughs> He looks like a young poodle. <laughs> the old poodles look really scruffy. <laughs> My ex had a had a poodle named uh, what was his name? <laughs> uh, but anyhow, the little poodle. He, he was nineteen, twenty years old, and. Pooh was his name, <laughs> like Winnie the Pooh. And he had the poodle got in a fight with the Boston Terrier, and the Boston Terrier won. And that old, poor old poodle was there with his, his lower jaw was broken on both sides and just flapping underneath. And, you know, 20, uh, 19, 20 year old dog, you know. And, so yeah, she she uh, had her son-in-law take it out back and shoot it in the head. So um, that was the end of that little puppy. Yeah, that's that's sad to see animals die. Um, but I found that picture of that steel slide, and the name of the picture was uh, uh, Texas Fire Escape. <laughs> it was even from Texas. I don't know. It's probably not the same school. This one is a brown brick building. You know, I don't know if that, that, that will look like white bricks. So, but it was the same type of thing coming down. There, there's this. The slide comes from the second floor, and then there's a stairway that goes up to another level above the slide. So somebody above could walk, come down the stairway. To there and then they could take the slide down I guess the idea was to to uh, make it difficult to get up you had to go up, climb up a slide and you know that's not easy I fought the law and the law won yeah I, I fought the law and I won I fought a DUI in New Hampshire and I beat it <laughs> I'm fighting the Colorado here and I'm gonna beat them because I went to I mean the court the courthouse alone, they sent my, me, my, a bill for me for the ticket off to collections like I hadn't shown up at court. Like I, you know, they put the date to show up at court on your ticket and you got to show up at court on that date. And if you don't show, show up at court, then they, then they charge you for the ticket. And, and, and what the date I showed up for court set a court date and came to my court date and been filing an appeal since then and they sent it to collections from day one it's been in collections so they're acting the i can legally sue the fuck out of them <laughs> because when i went in to ask them about you know what you know you know how long i got to pay it after this last decision they said well you your tickets in collections and it's and it was for more than twice of what the fine was, <laughs> you know. And they've had me and smearing me on my credit report for collections, for for traffic citation, and boom, I gotta sue them. Two hundred feet, one hundred men. Legion was six hundred soldiers. Was Legion divided ten columns? Uh, it, um. 300 dead Frenchmen up here. 
The centurion thus commanded 100 men. This is 60 centurion. Yeah, uh, there's 300 dead Frenchmen up here from the late 1700s. They were up here mining gold. And uh, the, Indian, the Spaniards learned about it. And they came after them, hunted them all, all down. Oh, but all but three were killed by them. And well, three three of them made it back to Kansas, which was French territory. You know, the Louisiana Purchase. You know, that was French territory in seventeen hundreds, uh, late seventeen hundred, around the time of the Revolution. You know, uh, they, the United States, Colorado wasn't part of the United States until the Louisiana Purchase. And did we have to kick Mexico's ass too? No, it was <laughs> uh, the Alamo and all that. 66,000 links. Um, that, 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 that number and that eight and a quarter miles and all that, that that's, that's a, uh, I know what it means. <laughs> it goes right to my spot. But it's... Uh, no tea tonight. No, no well, I, I just came home from uh, my physical therapy and went to Walmart because I was out of butter and out of Eggos. And, um, I got me a frozen pizza to put in the oven. Green tea is... Yeah, I use green tea and cinnamon tea, and I put slices of, of ginger in my tea, and I put uh, uh, some uh, mint, uh, spearmint tea in there. So it's got a lot of flavor. <laughs> and, and raw sugar. <laughs> no. Uh, no tea tonight. Yeah, I'll have some after with my uh, pizza and stuff. See, it, I got I got soda that you know I open a bottle and it lasts about three or three or four days or something. If I ain't got no tea, I'll drink a little. Tea bags. Yeah, yeah, I ain't seen no tea bags for. <laughs> I've got empty tea bags. <laughs> um, yeah, I bought I bought a hundred tea bags for uh, for putting herb in there. <laughs> to put herb in my tea, and I did that for a while. It's kind of a I don't know if it's working or what, but um, and I use them for filters where, like, so if, <laughs> where, where the spout is. I stick one of them uh, empty tea bags in the spout to catch any tea that's in the pot from coming out. Sounds good. I don't drink lemonade and smoke. I drink. <laughs> Would well, your eyes fall out or what? Or <laughs> That's don't squeeze your lemon and drink tea at the same time. <laughs> Think of Led Zeppelin. Yeah, honey, squeeze my lemon until the juice <laughs> runs down my leg. <laughs> you know, people never hear that in that song. You never knew that? He's singing about <laughs> squeezing his lemon until the juice runs down his leg. That's a, that's a, yeah. Okay, we know what he's singing about. <laughs> Robert Plant, that's all he sings about, right? <laughs> um, no. Who came first? Willie Mammoth? Or Willie Dog? <laughs> Turbines regulator. Turbines. Okay. Um. Yeah, I've, I've, my, my, my. 
the issue with my the cancer I got the the treatment is draining blood <laughs> regularly I, I mean at least every two months a, after they get you know I gotta do it for like three months every week and then it's like every month or two they'll they'll do it until the level's right and if and if that ain't working and they they got some some drugs they give you that uh, I don't know well, if if I feel better with just draining the blood and I don't need those drugs I'll just go ahead with draining the blood but um yeah and I already take a anti-inflammatory that that's a pretty much equivalent or to taking the aspirin so so it thins my blood out enough headlights neighbor going down the road I see going over there um yeah even though that rusty iron that rusty old iron thing marked the tail of my britches pretty good with a heavy brown color it was worth it was it worth the cold was it worth the cold yeah even when it was winter and that thing was frozen oh it was worth the cold <laughs> you may go down that in the winter and you know what happens if you stick your tongue your wet tongue to a metal right maybe you go out there and you got a little butt crack showing and sit down and your ass sticks to the slide <laughs> Yeah. Uh. <laughs> <coughs> so yeah, it'll leave a <coughs> um Yeah, my spot right over Moses is there's Okay, I got three different options for the slide here, or really there's more than three options, but it's all at the base of it. Hey, don't try. <laughs> not, not, my condition hadn't changed a whole lot from last week. Uh, I'm hoping that each, each time I go uh, drain some blood off, I'll get feeling a little better, a little better, a little better. <laughs> oh, you went, went treasure hunting? <laughs> um... Joe Monday was, was, uh, oh, no, that was, uh, I watched, uh, that kid in Illinois. Yeah, he doesn't watch my, I watch his stuff, because even though the person's on the wrong area or something, that they, they, they might have some, they, they might, their brain might have clicked on something that yours didn't, you know, it, 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 they, they may have clicked on something that, oh, that, but you go, oh, shit, man, that match is right here in my spot. <laughs> you know? And so that's where they're missing out. You know, they, they, they don't know all the, uh, you know, the confirmation bias. They, they don't know the confirmation overload I have. And my confirmations are not dead yet. <laughs> um, uh, uh, even the, the, the fisherman and stuff. Uh, I found him on on Google Earth, and and his fishing line goes right there, right below Moses, right in the. You know, I got to go a couple hundred feet over that way and that way, and and look all around my little little area. But I'm in the right area. I'm at the blaze, and looking around the base of the blaze, it's freezing freaking cold up. 20, 26 degrees up there. Um, I was going to do my laundry today, but uh, I forgot to bring it with me when I went to my physical therapy because I was going to do it afterwards. Uh, brown mark, brown mark. The brown mark on the back of his ass of his pants. It didn't, it didn't give me room to uh, put the rest of the, you know, it was going to say brown mark on your ass. Yeah, uh-huh. That's what I was going to put there, but it didn't give me room. You see, I've been at, what, 35 minutes. So, like, 30 minutes ago, Jack went out. 
Jack comes in. Let's see if he comes in. <laughs> Let's see if Jack comes in. I didn't get there my feet by the door. Um, boop, boop. <clears throat> Come on in, Jack. Come on. Come on. Come on in, Jack. I'm holding the door. It's freezing cold and the wind's blowing. Come on, Jack. Come on, buddy. Come on in. Come on, Jack. You want to close the door? You want to come in? Come on in. No? You want to come in? You want to come in? Huh? You want to come in? Come on, Jack. <laughs> Let's try him again. That's what I do. Usually I just go sit down. Come on, Jack. Come on. Come on. Yeah, I'm doing you on video. Mm -hmm. Come on, buddy. Come on. I'm running the heater and you make me hold the door open. I ain't going to do that. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, there I am. Let's turn on some light. <sighs> He'll scratch again. I'll go over there and let him in. <laughs> See, he's already scratching again. <laughs> and, uh, watch the monkey. Jack? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Woohoo! Oh well. He was a cheap monkey. <laughs> That's a five dollar monkey. I don't call him Joe Monkey. <laughs> <laughs> right? Where'd he go? Oh, he's got his head over this way. There. <laughs> he's blurry. I got the lights reflecting on it. I got, I got glue on my lens still. And so, it's like making reflections on the camera. Um, what questions we got, huh? Just, Jack is just trying to interrupt. <laughs> Doggy games. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then he'll be barking at me. I, my water dish only has an inch of water in it. <laughs> he doesn't like it when it's when it's below an inch. He, he, <laughs> he starts making noises. What happened to some of your older videos like the one on Homer Brown where most people are looking for the wrong blaze? Oh my brown, no. Oh. Um I don't know. I I I've I've noticed I have trouble finding some of my videos. I, I, you know. There are people that you work for YouTube and doing things, you know. Uh I I think against their employee contract. If uh if you're somebody they don't like and they you know, I don't know who, I, how they give people, you know, turn people into moderators at YouTube, but not all of them work right there at YouTube. I have to look up the Homer Brown or most people. I, I, I think I've, yeah, I've had, uh, um, oh, when, when you go, when you click on my videos, you got to look at, there's a difference between the, there's the uploaded videos, and there's live videos. There's another tab for live videos. They split them up. So try over in the other tab. Yeah, that's what they, they just did that. And I'm like, where'd my videos go? Oh, live or uploaded. So, yeah, there's a difference. I'm, uh...
<laughs> I like big, big Hershey bars. <laughs> but it's because it's, it's just, uh, you get a little more chocolate for your money with the big bar. <laughs> you, you own any Stetson hats? No, but I'll tell you a story about the Stetsons. <clears throat> my, uh, my, uh, ancestor, uh, David McGregor lived in, uh, lived in, uh, Derry, New Hampshire. Itchy nose. Got, got, got some vibrating thing in my nose there. <laughs> um, back in, uh, 1780 or so, the Stetsons lived in, uh, Dunbarton, New Hampshire. And my, my, uh, my family helped them out. It got him some furniture, you know, gave him furniture and helped build their house and all that stuff. <coughs> My family, uh, uh, you know, may, maybe if my family didn't help out the Stetsons back there in uh, 1780 or... It had to be before 1776. He died in 1776. He's a hacker or a time traveler. I'm clean. Who, who is? Who's the hacker or time traveler? Oh, hey, hey Street. <laughs> he didn't have one for his fan with gas. It's like, I didn't hear it. <laughs> it's because it was SBD, silent but deadly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's like girls don't fart. Forrest Fenn don't fart. No, I see the thing. Uh, these guys, it's below zero. <laughs> they, got, they got a little white frosting on the back of their jeans from the gas freezing on their pants. <laughs> I hear you. <laughs> no, I was going to say Forrest Fenn has gas. I should have heard a <laughs> You know? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm streaming roadmaps. Yeah, there's uh, there's several things like I was mentioning about the the six six thousand link and the eight and a quarter mile thing. There's something I know about that that it, it's too sensitive, and <laughs> um. Yeah, I guess, let me see. I should be able to breathe a little bit better after I drain, drain some more blood off Wednesday, hopefully feel, and maybe by this weekend, uh, I'll go up there and check the condition, see if it's something I can, see if there's snow there or not. Um, yeah, like, uh, Ski areas would close a lot sooner if the slope was the south side of the mountain. Eight and a quarter mile, yeah. <laughs> Eight two five, yeah. <laughs> I think, uh, yeah, yeah, mine's one one two three, <laughs> but uh, um, yeah, there's something else to that, you know. <laughs> the 8.25 is correct it is yeah the the rest is <laughs> the 8.25 don't use Santa Fe <laughs> what elevation uh, oh I live at uh, 7,650 7, feet and Mount Blanca is over here, 14,000, and so it's 7,000 feet higher than me, and there's some road, there's a road that goes up there to 12,000 feet up below, you got to climb the last 2,000 feet up there, but that road going up there, man, yeah, if I had a Hummer, I'd probably do it. If I didn't take a detour. Uh, uh. Uh, I I just got to go drain some blood every week. My my health is not much different than it was two years ago and stuff. 
I've had this issue a long time, and I've been fighting to keep going, and keep going, keep pushing myself, push myself to go treasure hunt, get some exercise, because I'm feeling so crappy. If I don't get some exercise, I'll just I would I'd just die if I didn't have the exercise, you know. So I I do it to get, but I I go 50 feet and have to stop and <laughs> you know. Because, and then the doctor, it, the diagnosis is like, yeah, that's exactly why. It's because uh, my I have too much blood. So the blood cells go in the lungs and they get their oxygen and they're like, there's a roadblock. We can't get there. <laughs> you know? And so by time, by time it gets to where it needs the oxygen to be delivered, the, cell, the blood cell itself used it up. <laughs> Most of it. <laughs> It, it, yeah, I need need some some uh, it, yeah, and I I need some uh, some finesse uh, finesse. <laughs> How do you turn? <laughs> That's uh, no, I don't need that much feminist or. <laughs> But yeah, fan, fan and femme, no, don't go together. Not at all. <laughs> I was just watching, a, I watch this um, Hulu. Not not Hulu, I watch, uh, so I got rid of Hulu and I got rid of Netflix. And so I watch, uh, there, there's these other ones. Uh, Tubi, T-U-B-I. Tubi has movies you can watch for free, and uh, the 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 other one was uh, shoot it's on my phone so I can't pull it up. <laughs> I can't remember the name of the damn app. Uh, Pluto, Pluto and Tubi is it because on my subscriptions on YouTube, you know, we got all these fin, my fin things don't come up. And then they fill my subscription, you know, if I go my subscription feed, it's 100% political. It's like, I don't want to watch, I, I know what's happening, I know, I know, you know, you watch one or two of them a day, you know what's going on, <laughs> you know, I want more of the, and so uh, now I'm getting some, it's feeding me some about my condition, and, and, and I watch the ones about both, and, stuff uh i follow this guy uh man of letters who who reads from the emerald tablets and uh he's doing live streams and stuff uh more spiritual and, and he makes he makes his own uh, essential oils and things like that uh you know some people that are into the the what the books tell them and I'm into what the rocks tell me. <laughs> I'm not really into what the books tell you. And some people think, oh, so he's, he, he's the devil according to my church. It's like, no freaking way. Some people, you, you, you know, you, 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 can, you can take any religion, make any religion evil. You know, you can call yourself a Catholic. You can call yourself a Catholic priest and, uh, uh, you know, butt violate little boys and stuff. And, and, and so there's evil there in that church. There is a, the, the Muslims, they go and, you, you know, if you're not a Muslim, we're going to cut your head off. And, you know, and everything, you know, so there's evil in that church. All they, all they, you can find evil in any belief system and, and you know just because both <laughs> i got both right here <laughs> you know because some devil worshipers oh no they, they, they're they're evil both talks about the dark side and the, the, the light and the dark just like star wars that's this guy the light and the dark you know the because you can't you can't have good without evil too. They both have to exist. You're bad. You you couldn't start your car 
if it only had a positive terminal. <laughs> you need the positive and the negative, the good and the bad, you know. Uh, it, it, the, the, the whole uh, has to include everything. <laughs> and, and that's why there are nine, nine, nine lords above and nine below. <laughs> uh, there's good ones and evil ones. You choose wisely. <laughs> uh, hey, Sean. Um, yeah, one story having sex with a woman. <laughs> oh, yeah, I was going to say the, the Osiris story Forrest tells. You know, and it was his penis. You know, they. Yeah, they could find all his parts but his penis, and so they they made him a, a golden a golden phallus, you know. And even the 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 Washington Monument is an Osiris penis. <laughs> it's a golden phallus. <laughs> but uh, this guy here is important, and, and the emerald tablets. It'll make you go, man, that's my religion. <laughs> uh, get it. <laughs> um, uh, where was I going? Oh, yeah. <laughs> that treasure chest is Forrest Finn's phallus laying out there in the forest. <laughs> that's his golden phallus you're trying to find. What's the phallus? Is false with you? Uh, what what are Abe Lincoln's last words to his wife? Uh -huh. <laughs> I don't know. It sounds like it's a joke. Uh, you can, you and your damn theater tickets. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> Did you enjoy the show? What show? What show? I, I was thinking. I was watching. Uh, the one guy, uh, you know, he goes doing his and he calls it a show. And it's like, I don't put on a show. <laughs> this is it, man. The real thing. There's no show going on here. There's no trickery, no fakery. <laughs> Some people go, oh, oh Bill jokes. And if, he, if he jokes, he can't be serious. That's the thing. I can joke and, and, and flash that treasure right in front of your eyes and, and as long as you think I'm joking you don't take me serious but I'm dead right I'm dead right I'm on the right spot <laughs> did you enjoy the show yeah yeah uh, welcome back my friends to the show that never ends uh, <laughs> performing on a stool we have a sight to make you drool <laughs> Seven virgins and a mule. Keep it cool. Keep it cool. <laughs> what lyrics? <laughs> you know, they could put that. Oh, she's going to be on the radio. Yeah, that's going to make them old people really upset that those words are out there. Custer never seen so many damn Indians in my life. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you, you, wait. When you were with Custer, you wanted to be the guy that he sent back with the letter telling him to send more. <laughs> um, I got a lot of good information out there that that uh, Illinois ghost. Get well, you're gonna be out in the dark and in the cold because you're not learning <laughs> what Bill knows. Oh, no Native Americans take offense to being referred to as Indian. Uh, no, they don't. They call them they call themselves Indians, and, and, and like I told one one crow Indian, uh, uh, my sis, my, yeah, I, I use the word Indian, and my sister. Oh no, you don't want to use that word, Darren. It's disrespectful. And he says, my sister. It's better to be being called Prairie, Prairie Ann, <laughs> you know, uh, that Prairie word, the other one, 
You know, like they have the sand ones, the prairie ones, and the, yeah. It is, it's so it, being called an Indian's a much better. <laughs> Don't call them prairie things. Don't even call them a prairie dog. <laughs> Don't call. Them, there's no Indian named Prairie anything. <laughs> Oh, and and I'm I'm a 16th Cherokee. My great grandfather he tore a page out of the family Bible that showed our our native ancestors, but the the he couldn't hide the name. Their name was Eldridge, which was the uh, English name given to Chief Pathkiller. <laughs> Chief Pathkiller, yeah, and my other ancestor. Relative was uh, Wabi Matahondo, the White Devil, because he went up up to uh, Saint Francis in, in in Quebec, up up near the Saint Lawrence River, and and waited waited until they had a wedding that night, and he he waited until the the whole village had gone to sleep, they settled down, and all the noise. Stop, and then we well, had uh, eighty-five rangers or or three hundred rangers or something went in and raided the village, and um, if it wasn't for my ancestor, it might not be a poke honest that we know of. He raided the village and he claimed he killed two hundred of them. Well, he he liked to exaggerate, and he told the and, and in his book, he tells uh, the one I republished. He tells the story of a uh, of uh, some guy before his time who had uh, uh, they they were having battles with the English colonists and this the Winnes Winnesets or whatever, and and he went and the guy went and killed two hundred of them, and, and he wanted to have a number equivalent to this other story. You know, so when they say they, you know, they, they he, he might have maybe 50, 60, I don't know. But they, they did slaughter a bunch and burned them in their huts. And, but they had uh, 600 English scalps on their on their poles outside, their lodge pole. Is, is their, like, thing with their trophy outside, you know, it's like your flag pole <laughs> in your front yard. You know, their lodge pole, they had scalps on them. They... They had over 600 scalps there. And he's been known to have a few. He had three scalps in his coat when he left his uh, coat at the Battle of Snowshoes. The Battle of Snowshoes is about my ancestors. And he also um, petitioned the king in 1765 for an expedition up the Oregon River uh, up up the Missouri River to the Shining Mountains, from from which is a twenty mile carry to the Oregon River, from the Missouri River to the Oregon River, which well, is a Snake River. It's called the Snake River now, but the Oregon River went to the Pacific Ocean. So it was a Snake River that went was the Columbia Gorge. It should have been the Oregon Gorge, but maybe Washington didn't like that. You know. <laughs> but Washington belongs on the Delaware, not the Columbia. The Columbia, the Columbian mammoth. Uh, he has pre-Columbian things in his chest. Think inside the body. There's two of everything. Two, two watch. Two, two, two frogs. Two big nuggets. Two, two, two. Right. Well, that's because. These things in the tra there's the literal things in the you know this is that's this and th these places match the where warm waters halt Homer Brown mm, no place for the meek up uh, oh, no paddle up your creek no place for the meek same thing basically uh, and, and uh, heavy loads and the water high. And, and and then you get to the the one blaze there that's 
10,200 feet. And, and then from there, you start over again. And, and you find all of his memoirs are hidden in nature. Joe Monday had the right thing about symbols, but he, he's he's still that he got to go a little further. The symbols are written in stone. How, how would you? How would an Indian find it? How how would Long John Silver find it from his nose to his toes? And he's looking at a rock formation. The rock formation is just distorted fate. You, you know, this isn't. Uh, Egypt that's only 7,000, you, you know, three to 7,000 years old. This is 14,000 years old. The stuff isn't pristine, you know. Even the Sphinx is missing its nose. Some of these, their parts have fallen off. <laughs> but so it's like, my God, it's just, there's 40 people in that one little piece of that picture because they're all overlapping and, and there's little people in front of the big, uh, a stack of heads, uh, you know, the guy's chest is another guy's head. <laughs> and and one head has 20 other people in it. There's people inside the eyeballs and it, it's, <laughs> it's pretty intense. <laughs> but there's so much of it that it can't be wrong. It has to, it has to be right. Put him up there, block the light. <laughs> He's on my coffee cup. Um, fish grinder. Fish grinder, grinder. Oh, I saw somebody, something about the, the Kingfisher, right? And I was watching some military flying. Oh, oh, it was one, it was one of them rescue things. I was watching uh, my the video I put up, and, and the call sign of the down pilot was Kingfisher, or, or uh, you, you know the King. And I think Forrest Fenn mentioned Kingfisher, but uh, Forrest Fenn he, he's a he's a Foxtrot Foxtrot FF is Foxtrot Foxtrot. Uh, Marvel guys, Kingfisher, we'll get you to the second level, maybe. Yeah, yeah, uh, um, yeah the Kingfisher. You, you know, it, it's a. I'm already beyond. I, I'm at the. I'm at the bottom of the slide. <laughs> I'm at the bottom of the slide and looking around. <laughs> uh, it's. Seeing prisons in rocks. We got a lot of negative pushback from there, uh, Yeah, I already, I already took my stuff. I already took it to to an anthropologist, uh, PhD uh, professor from the university, and very, he said, very nice. I like it. <laughs> so I got one on my side. John Wood, 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 Wood. wood what's Wood? Woo, wood is art. Art. Well, well, can I get a frame for that? You want a wood frame? Yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah. Uh, do 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 you put a picture for sale in a gallery without a wood frame? <laughs> it's in the wood. Wood can be art too, just the grain and stuff. You know. If you had a pine frame, that ain't worth much. But if you got a walnut, you know, like my ancestors are from Nutfield. Whoopie jokes. If you're if you're calm, I have a big list of keywords, and if one of those words are used, your comment don't post. <laughs> so, you know, that's how I control people like Jimmy Jimmy Fuck or Jimmy Fast. I mean, 
<laughs> yeah, we we don't we you, you know you can joke with your brother, There's somebody that you know well. Don't joke with somebody that that you've never met face to face. You may they may not know you as well as you think they do. <laughs> There's the uh... <laughs> yeah yeah. If you want to put bad words on here, you got to misspell them badly. <laughs> so. Uh... Yeah, I went through my YouTube and fixed all that stuff up. Added uh, a couple moderators. My middle name is Joseph. Imagine that. Hey, Chief. <laughs> Chief Joseph. I, I have a, a, a poster of G Chief Joseph. Um, I know where it is. Hey, it's in a tube back here. All my posters have been in a tube for five years. I ain't pulled them out. Uh, yeah, Chief Joseph, uh, let me be a free man, free, uh, free to, you know, teach my children my ways or whatever and all this, you know, yeah. The, the, the government wants to put puppet strings on you. They think we're all their puppets and, and, and their slaves and, uh, you go work, you, you go work, but hey, Pay up the pay up the boss, you know, because the mafia government we 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 can't we can't exist without you uh, contributing part of your hard labor to us. <laughs> you know, you know how they can take get rid of uh, fuel tax and all is it make the oil companies maintain the roads. <laughs> maintain the oil or power companies if a certain percent comes from electric power and the power company's got to contribute so much to the roads and whatever, you know? Yeah, let, the, let them, why, you know, why have the government involved at all? Except government maybe say, okay, you got to maintain the road to these standards, oil company. <laughs> I don't <coughs> um, Homer Brown is uh, it, Homer Brown has been sold. It belongs to somebody else now. The name of what the Homer Brown was hasn't changed. It's still. Ah! Oh well, <laughs> somewhere here. Oh well, forget it. I can't keep track of things. I've been moving stuff outside, trying to get make more room in here. It, it, it seems like I don't know how more stuff comes inside here. <laughs> this just RV is just too small for me. It's been my my garage and everything. It's not just you know my kitchen, my bed, and everything. It's all in this one thirty-two foot by eight foot. Mm, got one spot that's you know it's like uh, what ten feet across or twelve feet across with the slide out part here. But uh, it's just not room for. I mean, Saturday, what am I missing? What are you making it? Offer you cannot refuse. For, for what? <laughs> Make me an offer what? For the treasure? <laughs> what is that? Yeah. It's Bear Dan. I'm sure I'm not going to be a meek enough. It's in a Bear Dan. Um, well, where I'm at, there, there are slides <laughs> there's like channels coming down the down the mountain and you can you can climb up and get up them a little bit and 
Uh, I climbed into one of them and looked into it, and, and it was a bear. I don't know if a bear would know to get up in there or what, but it would have made a good human den. Um, it be, might be something to go out there and spend a night in there because you got to climb into it, you know. Uh, mountain lion might be able to get into it, but I bring my gun. <laughs> And if you if you got something like that, and you're out in the woods, you're out there camping in the woods, right? And you're out in the wilderness, and and you want a little extra protection from the wildlife. You bring some string, and you put it around the camp, and hang bells on the string. And any animal comes in, it'll ring the bells and let you know they're there. And you can put it at a height where where you know that you you know it's a height that a mountain lion or a, a bear will trip, but uh, raccoons and stuff will run under it, you know. But you could you could uh, string up bells around your camp on a string to uh, warn you of uh, wildlife coming to camp. <laughs> and. See, I get, I'm just sitting here, you know, you get up and exercise and, <laughs> and if you look up poly, polymycea vera, blood cancer, and then you find a word that sounds like that, that's what it is. And it was one of the things, short of breath, because there's so much, your oxygen ain't getting transported at the speed it needs to be transported because there's so much blood. Yeah, I, I drink plenty of water. I got two five-gallon bottles there. <laughs> I go about oh, every three days fill one up, one or the other. He's, he's on my bed. He's living in luxury. I'd have heard his collar. <laughs> He's inside. Togo's over there scrounging on the bottom of his cage. You know, he tells you, you're not, no, don't scrounge on the bottom of your cage. He, he's he been, uh, I had to take him to the vet one time and I had to stick him in the chest because he, you, you know, birds use their beak to climb on everything. And they poop on their perch, and then they grab it with their beak, and whatever. But he got an infection. I had to, I had to stick him ten days with a hypo needle in the chest. A little bird, you, know, you know. But uh, he survived. He had like cottage cheese inside his beak. It was bad. Um. Yeah, there's Willie. The dog, what came first? Who came first? Willie Mammoth or Willie Puppy? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, and what he says, he, he, he's not going to reveal anybody that's close or tell any, all the, any other searcher who the close searchers are. Right? That, that's privileged information um eventually Lancer seismic test and we'll find it mm, I don't think so it's mm, no because it well it, even it, <laughs> you see I can't tell people where my room where, where all this I can't tell them exactly where a lot of this stuff is because I don't want to reveal the spot where I'm looking <laughs> out of all this, you know, which ones. So, but when, when, when it's known that these things are up there, then, then there will be some changes, but likely not. A lot. They might put some walkways in. They might tunnel through the hill to go around some of it so that the road doesn't go through through it so and, and they can have more 
walking areas and things like that. Um, that uh, I can imagine one day some some uh, gondolas and stuff to to get you from the bottom to the top and things like that. Uh, you know, because some people might you you can. Because down in the bottom, you you got a lot of trees, and you're but from the tops, you can you can see across the canyons and see the other the other sculptures and stuff on the other side of the canyon a lot better, and that's that's how I found a lot of it. Uh, and, and I'd been on top of this one and got pictures of the ones on the other side from it, but I got to climb up the one on the other side, take pictures back. But but right now I've I've I'm doing two. Done too much other exploring. I gotta search my. I need a little search party, you know. Um. I, I need. Uh, yeah, maybe maybe some documentary on on, you know. It needs a real film and uh, people that are under contract. That hey, you know. We got here because of this guy and when it's found this guy's running the show everybody will get a reward um and i have plans to make it make money not i'm not i don't have i don't have any plan to sell it at all my my plan is to to uh uh use it as a, a business and and make money from exhibiting it and send it on a tour around the world and so on, like King Tut stuff. Um, it's too cold. I'll be able to breathe a lot better after I have a few more treatments. Uh, I, I got to drain, uh, you, you know, I think after, when, when it comes searching season, I'm going to be, a, I should be a whole new searcher and I should be able to fill up my five and a half liter lungs with some air and, and, and I should be able to fly up that mountain. <laughs> um, that's the other thing. He made that one, one of the Jenny Kyle things or, or one of the, one of the interviews or something. He said, I didn't go you think I went down in the canyon and came back out and went back down? No. Hmm. Did he go down? He went up. <laughs> uh, yeah. And, and really, my, my condition, my shortness, you, you know, uh, Forrest at 80 may have been able to, had better respiratory than I have at 60, he, you know. Um, and he, he, I remember when I met him in 2015, he, he, he was, uh, he had more meat on him. <laughs> he, he's, uh, he's gone a few, few more notches. He's probably lost two or three notches on his belt since 2015. Um, but it feels good when you to get your weight down. I had mine down, and my doctor took away my testosterone and went right back up. Now I don't know if my doctor we didn't mention it because we were talking about the cancer, but uh, I don't know if they'll let me have you know. They're all worried about. Oh, we don't. It wasn't hurting me before. It was helping me. <laughs> Probably gave me more energy too. They told me when I got my B12. I gotta do it to get a vial. You gotta stick it in my leg. Uh, they told, "Oh, that'll give you a lot more energy." <laughs> nothing. <laughs> it didn't do nothing for my energy. <laughs> so, yeah. They, so yeah, they find out. You know what? What the doctor came and I look it up and look at the same. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> yeah, that's probably what I got. For a roll of toilet paper for who? Court ordered, I guess it would. 
reveal under strict circumstances. But, oh, I think if the court ordered him to re, uh, to end it, I, I think the way to do it would be to tell the person that's closest. <laughs> Go end it. <laughs> that would be the way to do it. But uh, actually, the whole thing, I believe, may be under a contract and what he can can and can't do and all that is, is in a legal binding document and you can't discuss it, you know? And, uh, I wish I knew where it was. I'm going to die in South Dakota. <laughs> I've been to South Dakota. I think that's the first place I've ever seen a body on the side of the road. <laughs> on the way the, to the uh, uh, Black Hills and stuff. I've been, I've been out there to... Um, that wound, wounded Knee. Yeah, Wounded Knee's there. Uh, there's only courts in the hand grenade. Yeah. Well, I'm still fighting that ticket from January of last year. <laughs> and I got till the 20th to go down and uh, file my stuff for uh, to take it to the state Supreme Court. I know there's some lawyers in the chase. It'd be nice to have a little, little help on, on that, on that, to file that. I don't know. I got to look up what's it. I got, you, you know, it's like, show me a sample of what this thing's supposed to have and I'll adapt it to my case. I don't know how things stay, shake out. Yeah. Um, and he says, think inside the box. Th think it's not over until he's inside the box. <laughs> Um, he'll, he'll, he'll let you know when it's found. He'll, he'll let you know when it's found. It'll be announced in his will. <laughs> uh, isn't that letting you know? Still, he, he, he's tricky about Ah. <laughs> uh, so, that's an hour and a half. Some people don't watch my videos because they don't they they don't think there's anything to learn from me other than uh, uh, Bill doesn't tolerate jerks. <laughs> uh, Bill will throw hand grenades at assholes. <laughs> That's well known. Okay, but what does what's Bill's good points on the treasure hunt? That's one thing, you know. Shiny. You know, but every time I, I was mentioned, it was Bill's attitude, Bill's comments, and, and, and nothing about Bill's excellent points and Bill's excellent finds. <laughs> uh, nobody's ever done a show. Bill says, David Jennings Brown. Okay. Oh, and and it was me that suggested that we do do a video on. I did it yeah uh, December eleventh, or uh, December eleventh. I did a video about make a video on how Forrest is how, how the thrill of the chase has changed your life. What has it changed you into? You know what is what is Forrest is your puppet man he's pulling your puppet strings you know how's your life changed you know that was that was my idea you know because I, I see is that you know oh I brought that up now that now they're you, you, you know nobody can bring up the good things Bill brings up but they can pretend that they thought of it you know <laughs> the forbidden fruit <laughs> yeah I have an android 
Who, who has the forbidden fruit phone? <laughs> Take the red pill. <laughs> uh, and I went to the dentist. And they told me it'd be like four or five thousand dollars, and and they wanted to, you know, well we do a whole upper, and so, and, and and they're like wanting to delay, you know, delay any of it, anything till I, till I come up with the, till I have four thousand dollars put aside for it, and then they'll, uh, you know. But it's like no, you got to get some of these roots out. That the, the crowns fell out, and so I'm gonna call them tomorrow and set an appointment to get that done. But yeah, am I gonna have to, you know, by PayPal or something? Um, Wabi Eagle at Gmail, W A B I Eagle. But uh, um, means white eagle. Wabi, like there's Cabo Wabo is white cliffs because but it's wabo because it's the western the west, the indians on the west coast they do it a little different the east coast it's wabi as far as i know you know i'm not an indian i'm only part i'm only i won't tell you what part i'm indian but but it's a part that's up there <laughs> or or this part <laughs> the pecker <laughs> Thoth oh, and Thoth why did I find Thoth Thoth would be hid his secrets where he could return to him and find his secrets and if you have that light in your heart if you have that spirit that light inside you this is why Forrest Van says, "Bring a flashlight." It's bring the light inside your your spiritual light. Bring that with you, because this is a very spiritual place. Cabo <laughs> uh, Wabo, <laughs> yeah, but my mine's Wabi. <laughs> After a few pina coladas, so yeah, I'm gonna sign off because I'm just gonna ramble. And people don't, and then somebody wants to get caught up and watch my video. They don't want. To, they don't like watching me ramble. So, um, yeah, I, I dare the other vloggers to to find an excellent point that Bill Gorman's made and make a, 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 a rebuttal to it or whatever. You know, uh, don't pick on uh, me getting mad at. Uh, people throw poop at me, you know. I throw the poop back at them. Cow poop, cowboy poop, whatever kind of poop, I throw it back at them. <laughs> A few pina coladas, 151s. <laughs> yeah. One I used to go to uh, the Co Cocoa Beach Pier, and we used to go there and, and drink these 151 pina coladas. And uh, when I went last time I went there, I think it was eight dollars, and it's just a little. It's like you, you can't, you know, when you pay eight dollars for a drink, you get a big double, you know. And I wanted like I ain't ever gonna buy a drink here ever again. <laughs> Why the bars doing so crappy? Because the drinks cost too much. <laughs> Did it? Thanks. One. Uh, I'm going to be in your area next week. Make sure you have on. Did it? Did it? Then they'll fix it with one ice. Yeah. I'm still looking. I'm still. I'm still looking for a dead man's cave too. Dead man's cave. There's bars of gold in there. So. I got one area I camp that's close to the treasure, and I got another area that, that I camp that's close to where I think Dead Man's Cave is. And they fill it with ice. Yeah. <laughs> and you seen my... 
I made the one of uh, put the elephant skiing <laughs> down the slippery slope of the fire escape. <laughs> but he's <actually> still there. <laughs> <coughs> um, when I was in physical therapy, I was looking at the out the window. There's a football field outside the window, and it hadn't snowed here for a week. And that's no football field at all. White, nice white, un, untouched snow on it. It was like, hey, if when I was a kid, that thing be all muddy by now. <laughs> yeah, no, there's no snow on the ground here where I'm at. There, there's snow 13 miles west of me. But uh, this spot here gets very little snow because it all gets sucked over to Mount Blanca. <laughs> It comes off the mountains over there and it races over to the mountains on the other side. And I can see Taos Mountain from here. I can almost almost spit on New Mexico from here. And I, I got to show this to Forrest. This, I, I believe this is a bone. It could be part of a mammoth rib. <laughs> but you can see the... It's fibrous inside and um, I'm pretty sure it's bone uh, Jurassic Park it, it, you put your tongue it, it'll stick to your tongue and stuff all I all I found out was it was salty <laughs> it's a slick pretty bad it was slick vortex Jaws vortex run Oh, oh, uh, thought, uh, uh, Anubis has the vortex in his scepter. <laughs> There's a vortex in his scepter, and people walk up a ramp in the, into the vortex, and at the top of the ramp, they drift off and, and go to heaven. <laughs> Anubis is the guardian of the dead and treasures. And, all right. I hung my glasses up. Oh, he's wearing them. <laughs> okay yeah it's I got this gorilla he was he was five bucks at a uh, second hand store <laughs> so uh, and I keep him up on the dash of the RV sometimes and I gotta fix my dinner because my stomach's getting hungry I haven't uh, had breakfast like ten <laughs> and uh, yeah it's time to eat um, I don't have anybody to remind me to eat. My pizza's sitting right there, ready to go in the oven. Oh, I'll have a monkey on our back. Yeah, I guess what? I got the monkey on my back. I used to have a polar bear. And somebody damaged my polar bear, if I remember correctly. But I threw the polar bear out because. Somebody busted his eyes open, broke his eyes. So, who's going to ask me? No. Have a good one. I'll talk to you in, uh, at least once a week. I'm backing off some because all I do is repeat myself a lot of the time, repeat all the good stuff. And, and those people, the, the, other, the other vloggers, if you want a video you can watch where there's not a lot of Chitter chat. I did one. Twelve good, twelve good uh, clues or something. To uh, yeah, just a week or two ago, did one. Twelve great clues. And uh, no, no, none of them watch it. None of them watch me. That's why all they know is Bill Gorman does the double blazes uh, to people who disparage him. <laughs> so that's all <laughs> have a good one I'm out of breath